Hello, you guys! My name's Timster from Tim Fuller Gaming, and we're back with another box opening vlog thingy. I don't know what to ever call these things. Uh, today, we are opening the Legacy Diecast Power Coin set for the Legacy Power Morphers and that whole Legacy toy line. This is something I bought on the whim. It only cost me maybe $25 max on Amazon. It used to be at Toys R Us, but yeah. But we got our hands on the box, and I say, let's take a look at it. Not too bad in detail. I'm not sure why they went with a gray Red Ranger, but they got Red Lightning for some reason. It would be cool if they had, like, I don't know, Yellow Lightning with the Red Ranger, all the coins. But you know what? It looks cool as is. Even has the original Saban's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo right up here, which I do like. Oh, and for some reason, you have to be 15 years or older to actually play with these coins or something or other. I don't get that. And we keep turning the box. You will start to see it might be a little little worse for tear and wear and all that stuff, especially right over here. Oh, what are these things? Hmm, that's a little strange, isn't it? <laughs> but on the back, we get to see all five coins. Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Triceratops, Sabertooth Tiger, Tyrannosaurus. And they actually look golden. Now, we've seen this before in other Power Morpher boxes. The coins look golden, despite the fact they're not golden. So, I don't know. Keep turning on the side, nothing more except more damage. And that's pretty much it for the box itself. Sadly, there are no, I don't know, story boxes to go along with this, where it's like, oh, the Power Rangers get their power from these coins, or anything like that, which is a little disappointing, but you get what you pay for, and I paid for five coins, so... <laughs> yeah, who's the real sucker here? Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and finally... Open the box. Now, before we actually open and show the coins and actually feel what they look like, or feel what they look like, good language, feel how heavy they are and see what they look like, there is a cool thing with these die-cast coins, something I didn't even really notice with another particular set of coins, but there we go. Now, at first glance, holy crap baskets, they're actually gold. They look really shiny. Not sure if it's going to show up on the camera too well, but they're actually gold. They're actually shiny. We got all five. And with the way it, the box works, it's got a cool little display going on. You've kind of flipped the cover over, around, and back again. So it kind of opens up like a book fashion, I guess. But it's really cool. You can keep your coins inside the plastic, inside the box, and keep it on display like this for all to see. And I kind of really like that. When the Lexi Morpher first came out, we got all five coins, not this shiny, but we didn't get a box like this to put them on display. So just the fact we can get the coins in this fashion with the golden shininess to them. I'm sorry, I just really love that they're golden. They look so much more like the show than the coins we got originally with a 93 Morpher, or was it 94? I think the show came out in 93, the Morpher came out in 94, but anyway. The coins look accurate to the show, and I absolutely love that now more than ever. But you know what? It's probably going to ruin the stand, but let's jump right in and check out the coins themselves. And we also get this on the back, too, of the stand, or the inside cover. It shows all five Rangers with their respective lightning bolt colors and their coins, so that's pretty cool. Keep in mind, this is, well, these are die-cast metal coins, so... I expect them to be pretty heavy, pretty durable, all around pretty nice. Alright, so now that the plastic's out of the box, as well as the coins, we will show you the coins outside, and wow! These are definitely more golden, definitely more shiny, and they seem so much more heavier, and I love it! But I do wonder, though, let's turn them on the back real quick. There we go! The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo on the back of each individual coin. Now, I'm not sure if this was like a different wave or something, but I know from some people who purchased these very coins, it was more hollow on the back, completely black, and just not gold at all. 
So I don't know if that's just a defect in some of them and I just got lucky and got the better one. Or if that was just these coins being made in progress. I have no idea. But I'm glad they've got the logo. I'm glad they're gold front and back. And I'm glad they've got plenty of weight to them. Just as die, co well, die cast coins should have. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> and you know, these are cool and everything. But I think it's time we take them out of the plastic. I know I shouldn't do that, but whatever. And compare them to their original counterparts, especially the Tyrannosaurus coin, compared to the Red Ranger Movie Morpher coin we got with it. So, just gonna remove the surprise. Beep! Morphers and coins are already in the back. Let's bring on the coins and compare them. So in the show, whenever they begin their morphing sequence, they always start off with Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Triceratops, Sabertooth Tiger, and Tyrannosaurus for last. And if they have the Six Ranger at the time, it's always Dragon Zord and so on, or Tiger Zord, then Dragon Zord, and so on. So why not continue in that fashion? Starting off, here is the original Mastodon coin that came with the original, well, sort of kind of original Legacy Power Morphers within the recent Legacy line. Ooh, focus camera. It's like it's focusing when I pull away, and when I try to get close, it doesn't focus. Come on. There we go. My hands are not steady, but yeah. The Legacy Diecast Mastodon coin. Let's compare this little guy to this cool. Wow, okay. Yeah, so this is the new one that was in the box we just opened. This is from the Legacy Power Morpher, and honestly, already... I like this one so much more. However, now here's the thing. For those who aren't too familiar with Power Ranger history or even Super Sentai, the Japanese series Power Rangers is based off of, the Sentai that the original MMPR is based off of, Kyoryu Zentai Zyu Ranger, those coins were actually more like beast medallions, and they had a coloration similar to this and actually sort of in this fashion, really. So I like this a lot more simply for that reason. But for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and beyond, whenever they show the coins, it's always colored gold like this. So it's like ancient medallions for Zoo Ranger and gold coins for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So I do like this a little bit more because of, you know, the nostalgia. I grew up on Power Rangers and I only got into Super Sentai when I was maybe late 18s, early two th uh, early 20s, something like that. <laughs> Damn, 2,000 years old, whatever. Let's flip them on the back. Enough, enough talking. <laughs> and like I said, still got that same logo. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This one more golden. This one more... What would you call this? Copper? Bronze? Worn down? I don't know. But yeah, the Mastodon coin has the win for me. And now, here comes the Pterodactyl coins. Ooh, let's switch them up. <laughs> yeah, since gold's on the left, original's on the right. And honestly, wow, something I didn't notice with the Mastodon coin. Well, I do love the uh, worn slash withered down look, I like the Pterodactyl a little bit more because it seems... It seems like the features are a lot more brighter or noticeable. Especially with this one, when it seems a lot more... I don't know, gold, shiny, smooth... Whatever you want to call it, but it just seems more accurate to the show overall. And if we look on the back, we got the logos there. Nice. In terms of weight, ooh, yeah. I want to say this one's heavier, but only by so much. I'm not sure why. But yeah, that's the pterodactyl coin. Let's see. Here is Triceratops. Same as before, the features are more noticeable... Actually, on this one, they're more noticeable. Weird. I almost had to say it. This coin wins me over in favor of this one. I think it's because you can see, like, more lines and detail and whatnot over here. But not so much on the going... No, on the golden coin. Wow, going. Where am I... Where am I learning English? I don't know. <laughs> but I think it's because they traded out features for more shiny gold stuff. And like I said, this one looks more like a medallion than the actual coin from the show. And something I noticed right up here, it seems like the gold's kind of faded. Yeah, that's a bit concerning, but 
I'll take it still. It looks pretty nice. This one definitely wins my favor, which is oddly weird for me. <laughs> Next up. Ew. I'm gonna switch them around again. Sabretooth, Tiger, getting the shot. Wow, cool. Party. Awesome. Alright, anyway. And I hate to say, just because it's like an automatic win and it might be a little biased, but I like this one a lot more. I think it's because, like, back in the day, they did give out the Ninjetti coins from the first Power Rangers movie, and the coins were red for Tyrannosaurus, blue for Triceratops, so on and so forth. This one looks a lot more yellow and gold, so this one would my favor for the movie morpher. Yeah, I think this one wins overall, but still not bad, not bad, not a bad comparison overall. And last, but definitely not least, and this one's actually going to be a little more special. Here's the Tyrannosaurus coin that we got from this box, and again, it looks like it's losing a bit of its gold hue at the top. I just opened the box, like, I didn't open it before the video, but it looks a little silver at the top. I don't know if you guys can see it, like, right up here. But let's compare that to the Movie Morpher coin. Ooh. Okay, this is an odd comparison. While we're doing this, there we go. So yeah, you get the Tyrannosaurus, wow. Tyrannosaurus coin with the other five for the uh, Legacy Power Morpher. You get the one in the middle from the Red Ranger Movie Morpher because they didn't bother to give you the ape coin. And then you get another Tyrannosaurus coin from the box we just opened. It's almost like an evolution going from metal to something to what you see in the show. Hard to tell which one wins my favor, but I'm going with the gold one here because new, shiny, gold. I love it. And on the back, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. On the back of this one, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. On the back of this one, same deal, more shiny. So, yeah, it's definitely weird having three Transformers coins, but you know what? At this point, it's whatever. I like it. The only sad thing is I don't have a gold falcon coin or gold dragon sword coin or I'd show those off. Something I will show off, though, is a test to see which coins fit in which morphers the best. And that's why we've got them set up right back there. If my camera would focus, there we are. So let's try them out. We'll start with the original Legacy Power Morpher. So here's the morpher. Here is the coin it came with. Focus. Wow. I gotta get a better camera. So let's put it in. And seems to fit pretty well. But then again, the coin was made for this style morpher. <laughs> I guess there's some defect with the Legacy Morphers where some of them don't have the right, I guess, build or whatever. So sometimes the coins will fall off or just not fit in there too well. But I don't know. So that's the original Tyrannosaurus coin. Let's try the movie Tyrannosaurus coin. Or the movie Morpher Tyrannosaurus coin. That looks far better. Like a lot better and far better than the coin it came with. I love that golden look in the chrome slash silver Morpher. That looks really nice. And it seems to fit pretty well, though. It looks like it, the rim around here is a bit looser. I don't know. But, let's try the new coin. And, let's see how it looks on the camera. Oh, wow, that looks a lot better, I gotta admit. It seems like it has that problem, too, where it's not, like, snug in the morpher compared to the original coin but then again maybe i'm wrong i don't know but it looks so much better it looks very accurate to the show and i love it so i think that looks a lot better yeah the gold coins definitely win my overall favor but now let's try with the movie morpher all right let's start off with the new coin just because put it in there and it looks like it has the same kind of sort of gap in the rim, but at the same time, it looks a lot more snug. I don't know, that's kind of weird. I can't move the coin around as much in the Legacy Morpher. But still, 
That does look pretty nice. I'm not even going to try the other coins like the other animals or even the original coins or the movie coin. This one wins my favor and I do love the new coins. They just look so nice, especially in this chrome plating here. That looks a lot better. Again, I wish I had a uh, Dragon Sword coin to go with it, but you know what? I'll take what I can get. And I spent 20, I want to say $25 max on these coins, and I just love them so much. But you know what? This isn't just a box opening for these die-cast coins. Oh, no. Because I got to show you at least how this looks. All right. We got the movie Morpher from the original movie with a new coin. You know what time it is. It's Morpher time! Huh? Oh, oh, um, uh, okay, so I think it worked. Just, uh, Right. Movie Morpher. Wrong movie. Huh. Well then. And you know, it is a shame I didn't get a golden Dragon Sword coin. I'm sure I could get one somewhere that fits the Legacy Morpher. And maybe I'll splurge a bit for it. I don't really necessarily want to. But Hasbro took over the Power Rangers franchise, so maybe they'll make another set of coins down the line. And I have to spend more money for but maybe it'll come with the Green Ranger and White Ranger coin. But since the Morpher itself and the Green Ranger itself didn't get too much love, we're going to give it some. So once again, you guys know what time it is. It's Morpher time! Cool! Looks like it worked. I'm not a Green Ranger movie version, and it was the original coin with the original Morpher. So it looks like the Morph works after all. I even got a Dragon Jack. Cool! When did I get a green shirt? But that's not all! We also have Moofy Morpher coins that don't really fit in to the Legacy Morphers, but they do light up when the box is open, and hopefully it doesn't fall over. But yeah, apologies for the shaky camera. I'm holding my phone, which is my camera. But this was awesome. Actual movie coins from the movie morph or from the movie itself i thought it was cool anyway i don't know if it really shows up it shows up more if you look into the light but press this button like right down here and there we go everything lights up and you can kind of see what looks like a sideways tyrannosaurus here but yeah the coins themselves don't fit into any kind of morpher they're just cool to have, and this was one, if not the final purchase I ever got from Toys R Us. Rest in peace. So yeah, that's it for this video on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Power Coin set released by Toys R Us, and they are awesome. I love them so much. I'm definitely going to be using them in my Morphers from now on. Again, I wish there was a Golden Dragon Sword coin, but you know what? I'll take what I can get. I love them nonetheless, and maybe they'll become available further down the line. Don't know. Don't really care too much, because we got the coins here and now. Again, sorry for the uh, moving camera. I cannot keep it still for the life of me. I need a better camera or a better stamp. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like button. It really helps to know what I do well, what works, what doesn't, so on and so forth. As always, my name's Timster from Tim Fullery Gaming. And thank you, Power Rangers, for 25 years of awesomeness. 25th or 25th anniversary is yesterday, technically, depending on when this video goes up. <laughs> but I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.